Hey everybody, I just wanted to make another short video about uh, programming the miniature claw machine, specifically the Vever claw machine with the rabbits. Uh, I didn't go over a few things last time I made a tutorial like this, so we're going to go over some stuff again and go over some new stuff. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do when you're starting up your claw machine is use your key open this mechanism right here and what you're going to do is you see inside there's a switch there's a button and a switch these two items right here are the scores for how many wins and how many plays the machine has had I know it's hard to see so we're going to flip this switch and that means that if you go around to the back of the machine hard to see there's another switch when we turn that on the machine lights up and powers on now once you have that switch that is now red turned on you can leave that on and anytime you want to turn the machine on or off just use the back now next we're going to learn how to program it so if you look in here again you see there's a red button up against the red light so we're going to press it and hold it down. Then, you should get a menu setting on the LED screen. So first we're going to go to setting. Coin per play. Just hit the button to select. This is telling you how many coins it takes to operate the machine and to get it to start playing. Uh, so you can set it all the way up to as many as you want. It seems like it's up to nine coins That's kind of ridiculous. I have mine set to free play, but we're going to set it to one here Game time This is how many seconds you have To try to win something before the machine goes back to the prize shoot and the game is over I have it set to 25 You can set it as low as you want or as high as you want it can go all the way down to 10 seconds or up to 60 seconds so we're going to do 25 just because that's my preferred time limit all right music this particular machine only has the option to turn it on or off so we like the music on claw catch now this is what I didn't go over last time in the video there's air and there's bottom. Now if you choose bottom catch, whenever you move the joystick and try to catch something with the button, it'll just go down automatically and try to grab it. And that's it. Now if you go to air, the claw, you can stop it at a certain point and let, by pressing this button, uh, and it lets the machine catch whatever it has in its grip at that time so say if you were to press the button and the claw went down you press the button again and wherever it stops it grabs so you can basically control twice what you're trying to grab now I did want to demonstrate the double double hit double tap as it's often called and this is what we went over before when talking about air and bottom grabbing so if I do this and then I hit the button again it grabs it right where I want it instead of going all the way down and I'll show you how it works here so we press it press it again up oh, didn't work try it again And it doesn't always work well because you might have the timing off. So press it again. Now instead of going all the way down to the bottom, it just grabs whenever I press the button the second time. So now we're going to go over claw voltage. The high voltage basically means the strength of the claw grabbing a toy. It can go up to 24 or down to 5. If you want to put this in uh, an arcade or a commercial setting, you'll want to have it lower probably to reduce the chances of somebody getting a toy every time. So I have it at the highest setting because I like to win the toys that I have. 
Uh, low voltage, on the other hand, uh, controls the weak force. Uh, now, you also want to set this at the highest setting. If you move it to zero, you're going to have a very low chance of winning. Uh, and I will show you that if we go to one, we'll do an example. Now we're going to test out the low voltage on a low setting. So we'll try to grab a toy. This one's in a good spot. Should be easy. But it drops the toy. So let's try again. We'll try the white cat. Again, it grabs it at first, then it lets it go. So that's what a low voltage setting will do if you have it on a low setting. Now, high voltage height. You press the button, it can go from one second, zero seconds, to eight seconds. This is the highest setting. Now, I recommend eight seconds. It doesn't actually make much of a difference since you have, if you have the other. Uh, voltage is set to the highest setting uh, it won't make much of a difference uh, with regards to catching prizes but just to be on the safe side I always keep it on 8. Now a low voltage method controls uh, the claw strength after you have grabbed a prize so if you were to grab a prize and the low voltage method was on low setting it would then drop the prize as it was going back to the prize shoot. Now it doesn't have a lot of options here. You just have low voltage method or top. Now I'm not quite sure what that is because the instructions are very vague and not in perfect English. So I always just keep it on low voltage method and it always works for me. High voltage start. It can go one second to six seconds. And this basically tells you that after you have caught the prize uh, the greater the claw strength is so if you have it set for six seconds the claw strength will be high and it'll be better at grabbing the prize and holding on to it for six seconds whereas if you have it on one second it is more likely to release the prize because because the claw strength will be lower so we have that on six seconds. All right, now we go to prize setup. Now this is more for the commercial setting. There's, there are different modes, fixed mode, random mode, vending mode. Now I always have mine on fix because that just means it's fixed in place. It won't change. Random means that the claw strength and all of that that we just went over will change randomly. Uh, so that there is a random chance of getting a good prize or getting a good catch. Vending, I'm not entirely sure what the difference is between the two. I would imagine that it's set for a certain amount of tries until you win something. So I always have my home one on fix. Win rate, now this adjusts exactly how many times you play until you get the opportunity to actually win something. Now it can go very far to the right or it can go very far to the left. Now I always have mine set for one, which means that every time I play, I'm likely to win because the settings will be high for the claw. So prize sensor, we can have the, that refers to a little sensor that's in the prize chute and it will let you know when you won. It can be turned on or off. Now when you win, there will be uh, a sound like clapping and cheering to let you know that you won. So I keep that on. Play till win. Uh, this means pretty much what it says. It, you, you can play until you win a prize. You can turn it off or on. And again, this is more for a commercial setting. So I'm leaving it on on even though it doesn't really make a difference because I have mine on free play. Machine test is testing the machine for errors. So if you have anything going on, move to the back, move to the side. This basically makes a grab for you to make sure that everything's working properly. Obviously it is, so we don't need that. 
So accounts, and this is again for uh, commercial settings or arcade settings. This is your income, that's how many coins have been put in, your payout, which would be the number of prizes won. And because I have it set on free play, but also have tokens for it, it came with tokens, you can see that it does have some income and a whole lot of payout because I play it. All right, accounts reset, pretty much what it says. Uh, if you want to reset all of those numbers, go to yes. If you don't, go to no. Free play, one of my favorite things, means that every time you start moving the joystick, you're going to start playing. You don't have to put a coin in or a token. Set it on or off. Factory reset. Now this is a big button right here. So if you want to put everything back to the way that it came out of the box when you got the machine, you will click yes. If you don't, which I recommend, click no. That's your last resort if something is not working. We also have motor speed. Now the motor speed just controls how quickly the claw moves. Front and back, forward, backwards. I have it set on three, I'll go from five to one. Five is the fastest, one is the slowest. I have it kind of in the middle, left to right, just like it says. Left to right, instead of front to back. I also have that set on three, and that's just a personal preference, whatever you like. So we'll return. And those are pretty much your options for uh, setting the machine up the way you want it. Now if you hit return for the last time, it will just restart the machine, set it back to the price you area, and you're ready to play. So we'll try it out with the settings that I prefer. Ready to catch the white cat. Alright, that worked well. And that is it for programming the miniature claw machine, the Weber model. I uh, hope this was instructional for you guys. If you have one at home, even if you don't, hope it was a little bit enjoyable to watch. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe, and we'll get new videos posted up pretty soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.